Welcome to the Market Mindset. We are the hub for news, results, and CEO interviews focusing in the junior commodities sector. We provide market analysis and perspective that will help position you for solid returns. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can help support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell. For more info, you can visit our website. All links are in the description below. Now let's get into today's video. Welcome back to our third segment with Desert Mountain Energy, where we're speaking with Robert Rolfing about some capital questions and future growth. Now with it being 2023 and everyone's like laser focused on the plant in this the next 90 days, mm -hmm. uh, and I kind of wrap this up, we saw that uh, the previous two news releases were about acquiring more land, mm -hmm. purchasing the option land. So we see there's growth there. Um, I'll just put on a, a theoretical hat. Would it be if if you were entertaining a raise and if someone says there was success in 90 days, would part of the approach would be let's like go with the momentum and and order a bunch of plants because it took a bit of time to get the first one. Do we need to order a bunch in anticipation of delays or do we run the risk of expanding too quickly, too fast? Too what? what are some of the things that we need we should look for in the next, say, six months as well to, to, to harness this momentum? Well, one of the things that we had said uh, is that we will probably be looking at trying to uh, work with Beam Earth to try to find a way to really prove up and monetize the hydrogen aspects that we found. Mm -hmm. And so that would probably mean that we'll be drilling wells, you know, towards summer, you know, really sometime in June or thereafter. As far as ordering plants, um, you need to understand what your gas flows are and exactly how this plant, because I really think, and the, and the engineering staff also, we are all 100% in agreement. We need to understand exactly how the initial reaction, uh, how things work within the plant um, to really set it up to like drag out the argon or the uh, xenon or the krypton, uh, because we know we have wells where that is there. So it's, what do you do to make sure, ensure uh, proper on that? And then uh, obviously we would probably be looking at doing some with those, uh, we're gonna go into liquefaction. So there's some modifications that uh, have to be done or additional aspects that have to be uh, thrown in. Now, we already have a number of things in general um, uh, engineering work completed on, but we need this, this up and running. Uh, well, not fully, but we need to head, test a number of things. And the other thing in here, I know I've said it before, is there's a couple other small individual people have some small uh, gas. Um, they they're going to be bringing over some tank load, truck loads of raw gas. So I want ours to be situated and we're going to run this through because currently they can't, they don't have the money to do a real true offtake contract. The thing that, again, getting back to offtake contract, most people think, oh, you just take this and you truck in it. You, if you're trucking it, you got, you can't just be trucking raw gas. Yep. You have to process out the nitrogen unless you have such a cheap way to process it or it's so close that you can do this. And so there's, uh, they're going to try this. We're going to try once we get it set, uh, set up, they're going to bring it down and we're going to try running it and see if it truly can work off of their gas. Uh, you never know what somebody's going to actually bring you. Our plant is set up with so many sensors. Uh, we can we can check everything as it's coming in. Sorry, will we have an idea, say, then at the 90 days of some of the other gases for sure? There's all sorts of speculation on as to what all's there or will it be kind of as we're moving along, more will be revealed? Some of that will be as we're going along, Andrew. But as far as... Uh, I would expect us to have probably within uh, three weeks to a month at the longest, 
we will have it out uh, kind of the rest of the year planned out going into first quarter of 24 and into the second quarter of 24 uh, the, based on this. And it's not so much waiting to see what the actual throughput is. It's to understand just exactly what else on a plant design, but also exactly based on what we've now seen where we drilled, we know exactly what the gas composition is um, and other places we want to go work on. And so I want to understand that and what it, what it would be the way to optimize it for uh, production for rate of return to the shareholders uh, and value to the company. Because that is still who, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good size shareholder. <laughs> yeah. You know, I own, you know, 4.8 million shares. Um, I have a very vested interest in making sure this works and is maximized now. Um, I want to make sure that I'm, again, I'm not looking for short term. And for, so I'm not looking to trade stock. Yes. I'm not. And so my mindset is building a company. I'm not worried about doing an uh, in and out stock trade. Who, what can you do it? Or can you short it down, do this? I'm not interested in that. I'm building a company. Totally different than a lot of people's mindset. Um, and that's one thing I've always appreciated, uh, appreciated in our interviews because you're, you've pointed that out a long time ago. This is, if you're looking for the quick spin, this is probably not going to be, there's plenty of those out there. Sure. This is, this is building a company. And, and that's our, our framework and mindset has always been is to find projects, management teams. It's the model we use to build companies. Uh, you ride the ups and downs of that along the way, but if you're building a real mm -hmm. company, the it'll it'll play itself out. If you're looking for a trade, to me, that's that's a different complication that doesn't interest me. Mm -hmm. uh, now, yeah. unfortunately, we're in the stock market, and of course, being in Vancouver, we get a lot of people who are real interested in the trade, and you know that can cause a lot of commotion. But I think when we reiterate, slow, methodical. And we always joke, I hate being patient. I'm not a patient person, but no. to pull back and just say, listen, do it right the first time. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's the way any smart money wants to be. And at the end of the day, that's that's the goal is whether it's a science experiment or project is that test, 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 redundancies, make sure everything, then proceed with caution uh, is the smartest way to proceed rather than just... Uh, you know, fly off, uh, fly off the, the hammer and just go crazy. Yep. And that's it. It's how do you do this in, in a very logical, methodical manner? You know, obviously I am an, uh, I am a cockeyed optimist because I drill wildcat wells <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, it drives my staff absolutely nuts sometimes because I, you know, when we're looking at long-term and where you go, and there, I, I'm, I'm proud of the staff I have, but I know I, I probably drive them bonkers sometimes because it's like, no, this, consider this. And then they come back, well, what if? Well, yeah, well, yeah. What if? If I had, what if I had never done this? And I wouldn't be sitting here now. <laughs>